Shalom. I want to share with you today about the beautiful Jewish Christian Spanish connection. Someday we'll find it, the Spanish Jewish connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. A song, that song comes to mind. Do all roads lead back to Judaism and the Jewish connection? Maybe you're wondering about your own connection. Someone in your family recently had their DNA tested, or perhaps maybe a life event, of, or you're sharing your faith and you're curious about your Jewish roots. You've come to the right place, darling. Let me tell you, perhaps you are Jewish by birth and there's just something you're vibrantly aware of, I don't know. It's indisputable, indisputable, say that fast three times, I dare you. It's indisputable that all Christians are becoming more and more aware of the Jewish roots of their faith as a direct result of social media, awesome authors, books on the topic, and really cool informed pastors and speakers. Most believers know that Jesus, Yeshua in Hebrew, is Jewish. Some people I know might still be surprised to learn this, but I think most of my friends agree that Yeshua never converted or meant to start a new religion. He was born to fulfill over 500 plus divine Jewish predictions, as we call them, prophecies, and that say Messiah is Jewish and that he is the promised one. My favorite is Isaiah 9, which you'll hear during uh, the holiday season, that says, for unto us a son would be born, a child given, and he would redeem us, and he'd be called Mighty God, Wonderful, Prince of Peace. The first believers in him were actually Jewish and part of a movement called The Way, based upon the well-known statement by Yeshua, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, John 14, 6. As I visit different houses of worship in the U.S., I'm sometimes a little saddened and other times I'm pleasantly surprised how some of the great leaders are making people aware of or maybe they're not making people aware of totally admitting the fact that believing in Yeshua connects a person to their Jewish roots. And maybe they're not going into the Old Testament and the Jewish holidays the way that Jesus would. It's kind of a loss. I'll share more about this below. But first, I want to share how ecstatic I am about the fairly new statistics emerging and lighting up my life. And I want to get you excited about your Jewish roots because you, if you're a believer in Yeshua, are spiritually Jewish. You have a spiritual Jewish connection. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh my gosh. So I hardly studied the topic about the Jewish-Spanish con connection until recently, and I don't know enough to share it flawlessly, but I'm going to try to teach what I learned so far and hope that my battery doesn't run out. I think there are very few people making this stuff plain. It benefits us so much to know our roots. I'm going to give it a go because some of it's news to me. When Googling the Spanish-Jewish connection, my heart beats with excitement, a plethora of evidence comes out. An astounding number of Spanish people have Jewish roots, and I've heard a rumor something about it ending in if your last name ends in EZ, but even if it doesn't, you might have Jewish roots. But I love the Spanish culture, the dance, the music, and I grew up learning the language even though I never aced it, so I guess I'm a wannabe. Feeling silly to admit it, but gotta keep it real. Just one of out of many Google searches opens up this eye-opening headline. Quote, a surprising number of Latino Americans have Jewish roots, study finds, end quote. I read these articles and then I can't read anymore because my eyes get tired of reading these long-winded blogs written for doctorate level students. Yeesh. Closing the window on my computer, the windows of my mind take me back to incredibly inspired, highly studied preachers who have shared the fact from the pulpit. In fact, recently at a Paul Wilbur event I was watching on YouTube on his first Fridays, I heard a preacher share that there were so many Spanish people who came from a long line of conversos, men and women who were forced to convert to Christianity in Spain many centuries ago. Side note, Totally sad that anyone would force anyone to believe in Yeshua because Yeshua did everything in love and gentleness. But that's another point for another blog. 
a person ought never to be forced into anything. You know this. The best way to share the good things you've got is to share by your experience, strength, and your hope. Keep the focus on yourself and what the Lord has done for you. Always keep the focus on the Jewishness of Yeshua. Because I think that's missing a lot nowadays. People are forgetting. It's very Jewish to believe in him. Back now to the massive amounts of evidence on the Jewish roots of Christianity. When I was homeschooling my kids this year, we began to study Thanksgiving and it dawned on me. Oh my gosh, it's so similar to the Jewish holiday of Sukkot. Or in Brooklyn, we call it Sukkot. Get your tuchus in the Sukkot. <laughs> in my research, I uncovered a preacher talking about the connection, as I mentioned, at a Paul Wilbur gathering. And he even agreed and said something about it being possible. If the pilgrims read the Bible, as storybooks tell us, then they would have read about Sukkot and they might have known. And Columbus might have been Jewish. We don't know. It's not too far-fetched. I'm just speculating. But if it's true, America has Jewish roots as well. It makes me wonder. Who it makes me wonder. I am, however, confident all Christians have spiritual Jewish roots because, as I mentioned above, our Messiah is Jewish. Our biblical ancestors are Jewish. And in the New Covenant, or the New Testament, the first 500 believers in Yeshua were Jewish. And according to the biblical fact, Matthew, Mark, possibly Luke, and John were Jewish believers. Another great reason to stand with Israel and the Jewish people. Oh my gosh, you must be getting tired of my voice, but there's more. All this to say I'd be remiss if I did not add the following truth. Jewish roots or not, no matter what country you are from, the color of your skin, the people group you identify with, we are all made in his image. God loves all people from every nation. And if you believe in Yeshua, you know that he prayed we would all be one in the olive tree. You are connected to God. And that is what's most important. Are you connected to God today? He rejoices over all who come to him. We're equal in his eyes. We are all connected by love and grace, and we do not lack for any good thing, according to the Psalms. We must rejoice and not become proud, too proud to embrace God's people, even if they are rejecting him, because one day soon they will believe and be saved. Romans 11. So why do I write this blog today? For my friends who have not taken the time to find their roots, it would be such a shanda, such a loss to not know who you are. Every child of God, every living being deserves to know their Jewish roots or their roots. You, my friend, need to know who you are. And if you haven't heard it yet, I'd love you to know the real benefits of being a child of my King. Forgiveness, heaven, divine connection with him. I'm called to share the good news with my Jewish people in every nation and it's vital we share with our Spanish friends as well. I pray you're inspired to embrace your roots and share your faith in Yeshua. His life and atonement for us is the completion of it all. Life application. Why do I need to embrace my roots? One, because the Bible stories come alive. All the fabulous stories. You'll understand their context just knowing the communion was birthed it was birthed out of the Seder, the Jewish Seder, where Yeshua lifted up the cup of redemption and he asked us to drink in remembrance of his atonement, celebrating freedom from slavery in Egypt and from our sin and our shame. How cool is that? Two, I want to eradicate anti-Semitism. And I know it's a powerful thing that you know your Messiah because it bonds you in love to our Jewish brothers and sisters, many of who have been forgotten in these last days. Because you love Yeshua, you love his people, every nation, especially Israel, I pray you will always stand with Israel and the Jewish people as the days become more evil. In summary, no matter your background, you, we are a powerful force to be reckoned with when you know who you are, whose you are, and you know the Lord, your God. Stay connected to your people, your nation, and your God, who is Adonai, your healer, your king, your Messiah, your everything. God bless you, and if you enjoyed this video and you want to give to my Spanish album coming up, you can do that at michellegold.com give. 
but I don't care. I just love you, and I'm so glad I have this opportunity to share with you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace in the name of the Prince of Peace. Amen. Vault. That was a lot of talking. Puedo creerlo. Too much talking. How much talking can you do? Uh, she talks too much. Bye. <laughs>